Hi you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do these overlays, so text overlays. Um, you can do them using text, um, you could even have some fun with it and use like funny GIFs like I did in this, um, or you could add more information through a big frame. So um, it does require you however to download an amazing software, it's completely free you guys and it is like a great dupe for Photoshop. So what we're talking about today is Photoscape X. And you guys, I promise I am not sponsored by Photoscape X in any way. I'm just a hardcore lover of this software. And I download nothing. Like, I never download anything, but this is worth downloading. Well, essentially what we need to do today is create um, an image with text in it. So we are going to go to New. And then these are just the dimensions of your actual YouTube video. Um, so it's easier for you to kind of see where things are going to be placed with like on the actual screen. So um, one thing that you need to do is move this all the way to the bottom. So it's going to be a clear background. So there's no background. If you moved it up, this would be completely solid. This is completely clear and you want it very clear. So click OK. And as you can see, it gives you the dimensions of a regular YouTube thumbnail or video. Um, you can just add or delete the borders as wanted. So here we go. So now you go over to insert. Okay, and under insert is where you can add your text now. Um, so it comes up with a text box. So I'm just going to write, click the link in the bio. like that and you know anything that is this black background is going to be clear so this helps it show up a little bit better especially if you have a really busy video you have to kind of be mindful of you know what text and what colors are going to show up better than others so I like to add a, like a background you could even add a frame like this and See, you could even add it like that. You could make it a circle, um, so like a subscribe button if you wanted. Um, and you could also add frames. Um, so we are going to stick with this original one. And then I think I'm going to add some arrows. And the great thing is you can just duplicate things so they match perfectly. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering how I bring this over to iMovie. So now that I have the image that I want, you just click Save. And then it's going to ask me if I want um, the objects um, outside of the frame. You'll just click No. And then save as. I'm going to just throw this on my desktop. Um, save as a PNG. Okay. Now we're going to go over to iMovie. And then we're going to find that image that we saved. Drag it into iMovie. And then you want to lay this on top. So not right here. You're not going to put it over. You're going to lay it on top of the video. You want to just hit fit. It does Ken Burns, which just kind of zooms in the image. You just want it to fit. Um, or you could do like crop if you wanted to make a smaller image. Obviously, we sized it um, to be the correct dimension so it would fit. So when you are talking, you could just have a, a, have a little message right there. I'm going to show you how to make another one real quick. So let's say you wanted to insert a funny GIF into your video. So I would just do um, snacking GIF. And you obviously want them to be a GIF file or else it's not going to work. So you will just right click, save image as. Make sure it's a GIF image because that's how it moves. Um, and then I'm going to save that. Move over to iMovie.
drag that into iMovie. And then again, you just overlay this on top of the original image. Okay, so now you see that it has smaller dimensions. Um, but we want to be able to move this so you can still see my face, right? So we're going to move it to a corner. So click on it so it's highlighted. And then you are going to go to, oh, it's already on fit. You're going to go to this screen, this overlay screen. And then it says picture in picture. Click that. You can size it to be as big as you want, but the real thing is you can move it around. So you can move it to wherever you want. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is a little bit more advanced. So we're going to be overlaying a few things. Um, so if you want to see that, stick with me. So um, let's say that you are a cooking channel and you want to lay out the uh, recipe or the ingredients. Um, so we want to make a frame on the corner. So you know your face is going to be right here. So let's keep it over to the corner so people can still see you. Um, so let's say I wanted to add um, a little animated turkey. Let me go over to Google. Um, turkey illustration. Okay, this is perfect. So I'm going to save this image. And since it's a JPEG, it's going to save it with the background. So I want to cut out all of the white background so it's just the turkey. So I have another secret tool that I absolutely love. It's called Photo Scissors. Um, I will put the link in the description box, but we are gonna upload that image and we are gonna cut out the background, essentially. Some images do really good, some don't. It kinda depends on how many times it's been like re-uploaded and everything. Oh, crap. Um, move my little wand to be smaller. Okay, you guys, so I'm not going to take a lot of time to, like, um, you know, get it really neat looking. So I'm just going to save this. Download as a low resolution. You won't no notice any resolution changes, I promise. Okay, so this is kind of tricky. So when you have to overlay things on this, you have to make sure that this folder is open or else it will turn it into a completely different picture. So just dragging this onto the screen. And then there you go. You got a little turkey added. So um, now we will just add um, ingredients. I don't know if that's how you spell ingredients, but we'll go with it. This does not have spell check on it, unfortunately. Okay, and you can play around with the fonts and everything like that. I just wanted to do this mainly um, to show you guys that overlay process. And you guys, if you need a tool to create your thumbnails for YouTube videos or any type of things where you need to overlay images, this is kind of how I do it. I just cut out my face and then I will add it to a background. So that's the last part I wanted to show you. Obviously, you're going to go back into the tutorial um, the same way you did everything else. So you will just do the um, screen, the picture in picture overlay and then this will be next to your face while you're talking. So it's really simple like that. Okay. So I've showed you a few different examples. So we have, you know, a big alert or a call to action kind of sign. Um, you can also do GIFs or you can overlay other videos into your video. Um, and then you can, you know, add more information through like a frame or anything you want like that. So, you know, I kind of ran through the basics. This is just a very short, simple way for you to add a little extra oomph into your videos to get people more engaged, to give you them more information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with any other fellow YouTubers. But I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.